What's going on guys, welcome back. Hope you're excited today because I have got flea market finds for our mystery box Monday. I've got a actual Hot Wheels box here. Got this containing some cars. And we've also got a whole bunch of stuff in there I was able to find at the flea market. So, I might just move this one off to the side quickly actually. We'll get into this one. This was from the Salvos, that is the Salvation Army. In Australia, we just call it Sal Salvation Army, the Salvos. Seven bucks with cars. These tins are about, I don't know, $10, I think, brand new. So to get it for $7 with cars is pretty good. All right, what do we got? What do we got in here? Ha, <laughs> there's a little Lego man. Let's get him out first. Have a look at the Lego man. There you go. There's the guy from the movie. Uh, can't remember what the guy's name was, but the movie was pretty cool. It was awesome. Stick him over there. All right, start here. What have we got here? Ah, I've got one of these. Actually, no, I've got two of these already. These are from McDonald's. This is the McDonald's Bone Shaker. Very cool. You see a little Circle Flame logo on there also. Very cool. Quick look at the base. Made for McDonald's. Very cool though. It is all plastic and it is a pullback. So that's awesome too. All right, you know what? Why don't we just do this? This is just a little bit faster. What is this? This is like a race car of some sort. Does that say Ferrari? Is this a Ferrari? Wow, that's cool. Ferrari 333 SP. That's awesome. I did not know that that was in there. I didn't even look at this. I just had a quick open the box up. I was like, yep, there's some cars in there for seven bucks. That's cheap. That's cool. There you go, a Ferrari. I thought I was lucky getting some Ferraris in the in the pile of cars that are in there. So if you like Ferraris, there's a couple in there we can look at. Up next, we have, is this a GTO Judge? Pontiac GTO? But is it the Judge version? I don't know, it does look like it with the wing. Well, anyway, very cool. Very cheap, $7 for all of these cars, that's really cool. This is an X-Racer car, which is very cool because I do actually like to collect X-Racer cars if I get them. Country Club Muscle. I don't collect all of the X-Racer cars, but I won't say no to them if they're thrown into a pile like this. Kind of reminds me of an Olds 442 kind of kind of look to it. I don't know, tell me what you think in the comments section below. And then we have the governor, governor or the governator? The governor. Pretty cool, plastic top, metal base. That'd be interesting to see that go down the raceway actually. Looks like it even has some little rocket boosters in the back. Very cool. Trying to get through these as fast as possible because there are quite a few. Ah, this is a, a welly. Yes, we have already opened one of these. It was a, only a couple of weeks ago that we actually opened a, one of these straight out of the packet. There you go. Now I have an extra. Won't say no to that. They're pretty cool. They even have a little bit of suspension. Ooh, what do we got here? What's this? It's an AMC Javelin AMX with a completely screwed wheel section. That would have been a faster than ever, but maybe not anymore. Great color. Very cool muscle car styling to that. I do quite like that. Up next is a BMW. Yeah, this is actually really good condition. Toyo Tires 232. This is actually in fantastic condition. 
Very cool. There we go. 1994 BMW M3 GTR. And if you can hear a noise in the background, that's my dog drinking out of the water bowl. It was a very warm day today, so she's still a little bit hot. Very cool. I don't know what this is. I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. What is this? This is an RD920? I think. Pretty cool. Feels like a metal, metal construction, this one. Yeah, I don't know. I think that that is a metal, metal casting. Even though it does look plastic, it does. I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure that, that is actually metal, metal. I don't know. I know, it's definitely metal on the top. I'm going to stop rambling on about that and just move on to the next one. Here we have the rip rod in this orangey red kind of color. Very cool. Quick look at the base. Whoa, that's got a wonky wheel, hasn't it? Ah, oh well. That'll go into the spare parts pile. I'll use something off it. Maybe I'll do a wheel swap on it one day. Ah, next we've got an Audi TT. This is a Maisto Audi TT Roadster. Should have known it was a Maisto with these dodgy wheels. Pretty cool. Got painted tampos on it at least. Very nice. A little bit of chip on the back, but as I was saying, very cheap cars. And next we have got rubbish. Next we have got um, is this supposed to be a skyline? Okay. We'll just put that one off to the side. We won't add that to the pile back there. Ooh, fish and chips with flames. You want some hot and spicy fish and chips. Very cool. <laughs> I've actually got a few of these castings now. I do quite like the fished and chipped. Such a nice looking car. And then we have got the Golf Corvette. This one's cool. I've still got one of these in card. I have a loose one. Now I've got this one as well. So, very cool. Quick look at the base for you, just in case you want to read it. 2009 Corvette ZR1. And the last car is a nice shiny green Camaro with some red wheels. Pretty cool, not much in the way of tampos, but still an absolute bargain for this amount of cars. All right, this could take a while, so I'm gonna go through this as fast as I possibly can. Starting with a couple of carded cars, the Mars Rover Curiosity. There was one I actually missed back in the day when they were on sale. See, it's got a little NASA logo on the front there. Actually, um, <laughs> believe it or not, I'm actually really happy to find this. The card and the blister is a little bit damaged on it, but that doesn't bother me. Up next, we have got the Dodge Charger police car. This has got, what does that say on the side? Elk Grove? Something like that, yeah. Local police local police car, but I won't be opening this one. This is also from 2010 or 2011. A little bit beaten up, but still good. Card's still actually pretty good condition, to be honest. Yes, we do have those Fast and Furious cars in the back to open up. <clears throat> these I thought were pretty funny. These are metal construction here and plastic here, bit of plastic here. These are Datsun forklifts, and you can see that they actually work. I got two, they were, <coughs> sorry, they were two bucks a piece, so I bought both of them. 
made by a company I have never heard of. They actually have proper articulating wheels in the back, which is really good to see. They're made by Yoni Zawa Toys. Some mumbo jumbo you can read. Datsun forklift made in Japan. I have never seen anything like this ever at all in my life. You see, I have the Datsun logo. I'll get that to focus. There you go. The old Datsun logo. That's really cool little little additions to my collection. You see, somebody's tried to fix them by melting some plastic onto it. Not very well done, but doesn't bother me. And here we go, Ferraris! Yes! These are more of those Ferraris which were available from the Shell petrol stations here in Australia. Not too sure where they were sold elsewhere. Um, I've been slowly collecting the entire set of these because I missed out on a lot of them back when they were actually for sale at the service stations. So, give you a quick look. Yes, they're still dusty. I haven't cleaned them up or anything yet. Not bad. They're pullback models. And they also have a sound pack in them. So they actually make the Ferrari sounds as they go. This is the Enzo Ferrari. The batteries are obviously flat in there. And check out the F50. Ferrari F50 Shell V-Power. They're not bad looking little cars. They're all completely plastic. But I think that they're pretty cool actually. Let's, let's move those over there. All right. This is gonna be a quick one. Let's just move the box over to the side so we can still see some space over here. Move that up the back there. All right, let's go as fast as we can. First up, we have got a fuel tanker. Fast, fast gassing. Very cool. Another addition to my fast gassing collection. I've actually got a few of these now. This is also a casting I do collect because it just looks absolutely ridiculous. Very, very cool. Ah, let's go for this one. Here we have Donatello Ninja Turtles car. Don't know what this is from. It's a Playmates, something like that. Something probably from McDonald's or something like that. Not entirely sure. But they're still pretty cool. Even has like the sewer drain cover style wheel on it. That's pretty awesome. All right, as fast as we can. We have got a police car. Very cool. Quick look at the base. This is the Vauxhall Astra GTE Opel Cadet. Or in Australia, this would be called the Holden Astra. Because Opel and Vauxhall are also Holden for some reason. Not too sure. Here we have a rescue car. Rescue police car. Bright orange, white top. Near, near mint condition. Mercedes-Benz 280 GE. Very old, old cast in this one. Up next, we have got this bright orange and blue weird paint job thingy. It's a Jeep or something. The Jeep Cherokee. Very cool, but it's only piece of metal is this top piece. There's a lot of plastic on that. Put that down there. Up next, we have got a Nissan Bluebird with opening doors. Very cool. There's no actual brand on the base of this, but if you know what these are, are these actually t original Tamikas or something like that? I do not know because they do look a lot like the original Tamikas. Up next, we have got a Jaguar. Also from that same branding, the unknown brand, XJS. Opening doors. This has kind of got a matte green finish to it. Very cool. You don't often see these as a, uh, a die cast car, which is, so that was why I grabbed that one. Next, we've got a Datsun. 
Oh no, sorry, Mesa RX-7. I thought it was the Datsun 240 for a second. Very cool, this will go straight into my RX-7 collection. Very cool looking cars. Up next, we have got a BMW Cabriolet 323L or I. As I say, it's a 323i Cabriolet. Very cool, nice blue. Not completely destroyed. Still in pretty good condition for what I like to have them for. I like a lot of my cars which are on display to actually have have it look like it's actually been used. So this looks like a realistically used car. Next we have got a little Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla 11. It's an AE86, we know that. Very cool, it's from that same unknown branding. With these same Tomiko looking, looking wheels. Very cool. So many cars in here. Up next we have got a Mercedes-Benz police car. Another old matchbox. This one's got a lot of weight to it. This is very heavy. That is definitely a metal base. Very cool. Also has opening doors. The other one doesn't open all the way and I don't want to force it. So we'll just leave it like that. Very cool. Up next we have got another old matchbox. This is the ambulance. This is old Volkswagen transporter. Very cool. Blue little blue light on the top there too. Nice bright orange and white. Really nice looking car. Also has opening hatch and you can see that there is actually a stretcher in there. So you can put your sick people I can't open that any further. You can actually put your sick people in there. So that is a very, very cool casting. I have to move all these cars away. Up next, yes, it's another police car. This one is the old school, what is it, Ford, Ford LTD. I was going to call it a Fairlane for a second because it looks like our old Fairlanes. The old Australian cars look, the old Fords look a lot like Australian Fords. But this is really cool. Yeah, police livery on the side. This one really reminds me of something like the Blues Brothers, Blues Brothers movie. I recommend that to anybody if they haven't actually seen it. <clears throat> Next we have got Frank's 24 hour towing. And I picked this one up because of this. It still has the original tow hook unbroken. Very happy to have seen that. Really cool GMC truck. GMC Wrecker. Pretty good condition. Very happy to find that one. Next, we have got another police car. <laughs> so many police cars. I just found a lot of good condition police cars. What can I say? And for a dollar a piece, I was not going to pass them up. I actually have three of this exact casting now. And believe it or not, this one is the best condition of all of them. Very cool. Jaguar written on the back there. Very nice looking car. Looks like the British police car. There you go. Matchbox XJ6. Very, very cool. And what do we got next? We have got another Volkswagen uh, transporter ambulance. This one does not have an actual ambulance thing, it's just got the red cross. But still, as you can see, it still has the stretcher in the back there. Opening door. Very cool. Very nice looking. Uh, we'll squeeze that one up the top there. Only a couple left. Ah. Okay. I'll save that one for a bit. Let's look at the bright pink one. Bright pink and yellow car. Very cool. Those weird, wild 1980s designs. These really flash gold wheels. A little bit scuffed up on the back, but the rest of it is rather average condition, okay condition. 
Wow, that's bright. Pontiac Firebird Racer. Very cool. That is just like fluorescently bright. Be able to see that from the moon. All right, last couple of cars. Here we have actual Toyota AE86. Toyota AE86 Corolla with your Tofu home delivery service on the side. I don't actually know if that's what it said, but it would be cool if it was the initial D car. Got some stuff on the front there. Blacked out roof. It's a nice looking car. I think that probably just says Hot Wheels, but if you know what I'm talking about with initial D, it should say Tofu Delivery, uh, whatever the family was that actually ran the company. Anyway, let's move on. I can't recall. All right, we'll do this one first. This one here is a color changer Ferrari. I don't know if it'll work, but I'll hold my finger on it just for a second and see if we can get it to change. Uh, kind of, kind of. It's supposed to go a little bit more of a yellow from the pink, but this is a Ferrari 348 with the Hot Ones wheels. Nothing written on the base, but yes, that is an old school color changer Ferrari. Nice. Nice one! And the last car of the loose cars is one which I was actually rather happy to find. This is the Mercedes-Benz 500 SL Matchbox in essentially, this is essentially a mint condition car. There's nothing wrong with this at all. All it could do with is a little bit of a polish on the window. But this is really nice to find. This is going to replace the one which is already in my collection because the one in my collection is kind of like the rest of these cars with big chips and scratches and stuff all over it. But this is really nice. Quick look at the base. Mercedes Benz 500 SL. I'm very happy to find that. And for a dollar, I was definitely not going to say no. All right. I'm just going to pull these all the way out. You see the box is empty. And now, last week, we were going to open up some cars. So as you can see, these are the two cars that were voted for. So we're going to open these up. Actually, no. Let's do this first. This is the new 1975 Chevy Caprice from Matchbox. Very cool. Oh yeah, mumbo jumbo written on it. No one really cares to read about that. Oh, it's glued, not sticky tape. Ooh, that's nice. They are, they're using this kind of pinky purple colour a lot lately. We had the Thunderbird, we had the other uh, Ford Ranchero Ute. We've had a few cars in this similar colour. I'm not complaining, I do like it, but you think they would have used something a little bit different. Nice wheels. They're, they're a good choice. Nice bit of chrome trim on that. It's actually a very nice, clean, original looking car. That's really nice. Very nice, I, I think. You'll have to tell me what you think. All right, let's get all this rubbish out of the way and start ripping open some Fast and Furious cars. As you know, we were talking about this last week and I was trying to find the Chevy Chevelle. Well, I decided to start opening them up and we started with the Pontiac Firebird, so we're going to open up all of them today. This is the 1970 Chevelle SS in a lovely red. Even though it looks a little bit oranger on there, it is definitely red. Ooh, that's nice. Nice wheels too. Nice and shiny. Nice good gold uh, chrome trim around the window and around the arch the wheel arches. That's nice. Some marker lights. Full details on the front. That looks cool. Nice racing stripes on the hood. This is heavy. Like I know they're supposed to all be metal metal, but this actually has a good solid feel to it. You see that it has a license plate also. Nice touch. And Chevelle on the back there. Nice. And it has hood pins. Nice. But that's, that does feel nice. Nice and solid. 
very nice. Anyway, let's get going onto the 67 Chevy Camaro. This is good because it still has the opening bonnet. Very nice. And there you go. Bigger wheel in the back, but that doesn't bother me. Camaro and the flags on the side there, side pipes. Awesome. Nice detail. An opening bonnet. Very cool. Nice nice paint job on this one too. It's like a uh, a darker yellow. Nice nice dark yellow anyway. Very cool. Nice details on the back. And moving on. Yes, you can see I tried to I tried to hide it. I tried to hide it, but you've already seen it now. Yes, we found them all. <laughs> Up next is the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302 in white, and this is awesome. This one's actually the peg warmer that I've noticed in my area. There's quite a lot of these to pick up. Well, this one and the red one. The red one's also pretty common to find everywhere. This is nice too, you actually have your gold wheels on this. How deep dish are they? Wow, are these new wheels for this car or something? Wow, those are so cool. Oh, those front headlights look nice too. Very nice. Oh, this is cool. What a great set this one is. No silly racing graphics over the sides. Just nice, clean, street-worthy cars. Wow, that's awesome. Let's move this to the side. And yes, as always, when you give up waiting for to find something, it'll always turn up. So to all you collectors out there wondering whether or not you should go onto eBay to buy something, don't. Just wait. It's going to turn up when you least expect it, as it always does for me. And this is the 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS in the Primer Grey. When I was at the shops the other day, I was talking to one of the people that worked there and they told me that they had an entire giant crate full of old stock and excess stock that they couldn't fit onto shelves that they just dumped into this big big box and I asked if I could have a look through it and they go, yep, no worries, they brought it out for me and what do I see sitting there on top? This, it's just sitting there there were three of them in the store so I bought all three of them for my collection because it, I wanted one to open I wanted one to hang up on the wall and I wanted one just to, to because I, it took me so long to find it. Just that third one was like the accomplishment for me. Just like, yeah, screw you, I've got it, sort of thing. So there you go. After the last couple of months of searching, I finally have the last Fast and Furious car I needed from this quarter mile muscle series. Very happy. I have to say though, the uh, Trans Am is still my favorite. There we go. This is like one of my all time favorite cars in real life. So this one being such a, a perfect clean example is just over the top awesome. All right, let's move these down there. Put all of these down here. And we're not done yet. I've just got two more things. Two, two more things to show you. One is there's another series of Tomikas out in Big W Australia so if you're in Australia go check out your local Big W stores for the new Tomika range this was the only one I could find from the new assortment but there you go the Nissan GTR very cool nice details on this there you go you can read that if you really really want to nice little bit of information and the last car, one I've actually been looking for for a while now, is the 1974 Mazda RX-3. So I'm going to quickly open this up. Ah, it always catches. I'm going to quickly open this up so we can all have a nice, nice look at it before. 
Just going to have a nice little look at this before we all head off for the evening or for the day for whichever time, time zone you are in. This is the beautiful Mazda RX-3. And last week when I was showing the, the Datsun, the purple Datsun, I forgot to show that there were actually opening doors on there. So I'm going to take this one off the base as a little, little bit of a bonus for you all. There you go. How cool are these four spoke gold wheels? They look cool. You see you have opening doors, also right hand drive which is nice. You actually have stuff on the door card there which is really cool. JDM tuners, nice lights. I like those original style lights. Pretty cool, you got the vents down there too. Nice. The size of these wheel flares. <laughs> awesome. There you go, you can see inside there, nice detailed interior. And the front end of the RX3 is the reason why I love it. They're just such cool looking cars. They're so small in real life, but they're so cool. And when you see them around, around my area or around Sydney in general, actually around Australia, if somebody owns one of these, they're guaranteed they're gonna have done it up. They sound awesome. Very noisy, but they sound awesome. Anyway, that officially will bring us to the end of today's Mystery Box Monday. Move all the junk off to the side and we'll wrap it up. And I'm sure that everybody knows about this new copper law, the new YouTube system which has been put in place. And I want to say that I'm going to continue doing everything that I'm doing as I am up until the 31st of December. And up until that time, I don't really know where this channel will be going. Um, hopefully things will change, but I'm going to enjoy the next month making as many videos as I can for you guys, enjoying the time while I can, and hope that next year I can continue. But I'm going to have to stop on the January 20, uh, December 31st. I'm going to have to unlist my whole channel and... Uh, pause everything until I find out what I can do about it because I don't want to take the risk of uh, YouTube just shutting my channel off with no actual reason. I know that they can't physically find me but they can just turn my channel off. So sorry to end it on a note like that. I really hope you are all out there enjoying collecting, being the awesome adult collectors that you are, being an adult diecast community and happy collecting. I will see you all next week. Bye. Watch out fellas, I'm coming through. Come on, buddy. Off the road. I did my lights. There you go. He's obviously blinded by the headlights. There you go. He's off the road. Hi, Mr. Wombo. And that's why you drive nice and slow at night in the bush. Last thing you want to do is run over a Wombo. <laughs>